So there are traditional mechanical switches, and then there are optical mechanical switches. Which one should you be choosing? Let's find out. What's up guys, Romsko here, and in my hand is a traditional Gadron switch. And this is a Gadron optical switch. And now over the years, we've been using mostly these traditional mechanical switches, where there are metal contacts on the inside, and every time we press down far enough, the metal contact separates, resulting in a closed loop, and that results in a key press. Now, optical switches do pretty much the same thing, but instead of having two metal contacts separate, there's actually a laser sensor on the PCB, and whenever you press far enough on an optical switch, the laser gets blocked, and that results in a closed loop, thus another key press. And before we start this comparison, just know that these switches are both technically mechanical switches, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be calling the traditional mechanical switches mechanical, keeping it on the left, and optical switches optical, keeping it on the right. Let's start off with the structure of the switches. Both types of switches have basically the same housing, a polycarbonate top housing and a nylon bottom housing. On the optical switch, you can see that there's a small magnifying glass on the LED opening, and that's to create a brighter LED glow than your typical mechanical switch. When you look at the bottom housing, it's also a little different. Mechanical switches either have 3 or 5 pins, but with optical switches, you actually only get 1 pin, which brings us to our second point. All keyboards that use Gadron optical switches are hot swappable, which is a benefit because you don't have to worry about soldering, and you don't have to worry about bent pins due to misalignment. And although it's a tiny bit easier to put switches in and switch them out, you're still very limited to the switches that you can use. While on a Gadron mechanical keyboard, you can choose a whole bunch of switches, but for this optical keyboard, you can only choose Gadron optical switches. And when looking inside the switch, you can see that the optical switch is quite empty. This is because linear optical switches don't have any metal contacts and the stem has no legs either. This means you can theoretically achieve a much smoother typing experience than any linear switch out there because the only point of friction are these rails here. But when it comes to the optical tactile switches, the metal contacts are there and the legs are also present too. And this is kind of obvious, but the metal leaves and the legs of the stem are required to give you that tactile bump and that's the only reason why they're there. It's not connected to any kind of circuitry or pins or wires, they're just there specifically to give you that tactile bump. Meanwhile, a mechanical switch, tactile or not, will always have legs on the stem and metal leaves that connect to the bottom two pins. And here's the difference between the two switch stems. The optical stem is much longer because it has to reach all the way to the bottom of the bottom housing where you see a little hole. The laser on the PCB goes through this hole in the housing and once the stem is pressed down far enough, the laser becomes blocked and that gives you a key press. You can do the exact same thing with a pencil tip and the PCB laser, and you'll see how the technology works. And since the detection of light is much faster than two metal contacts physically coming together, that's why optical switches give you a gaming advantage. Now let's talk about the switch specs. Gadron mechanical switches have six types. You have clicky and tactile with the blues and greens, tactile with the browns, and the rest are linear switches of various actuation forces and bottom out forces. The heaviest switch would be the 65 gram Gadron Green, and the lightest would be the 35 gram Gadron Clear. And all these switches have a 2mm actuation distance with a 4mm bottom out distance. As for optical switches, you have a much larger selection to choose from. You have majority of the same colors and a silent variant of all the colors except for the blue switch. The heaviest switch is the optical black at 60 grams, with the optical yellow being the lightest at 35 grams, as well as having the shortest actuation distance shared with the optical silvers. But keep in mind these are the only switches that you can use with a Gadron optical keyboard, while a Gadron mechanical keyboard can use all other compatible switches. For the sound test, all the optical tactile switches sound the exact same thing as their mechanical counterparts because it's the exact same housing. But for the linear switches, since they don't have the metal contacts or the legs on the stem, they're going to sound a little bit differently. So have a listen.
And finally, when it comes to pricing, whether you're getting a Gateron optical keyboard or a hot swappable version of a Gateron mechanical keyboard, they're pretty much the same price, so you're not losing anything here. As a conclusion, here are the pros of the Gateron optical switches. Number one is that they use light detection, so actuation is much faster than mechanical switch. Number two, all their keyboards are hot swappable, which is nice. And number three, they have a magnifying top housing for better LED production. And the con is that you're extremely limited to the switches that you can choose from. Right now, you can only choose Gateron optical switches from their clicky tactile, tactile linear, and their silent variants, as well as their speed switches, so you're not losing that much. But if you wanted to try out something like Holy Pandas or Zelios, you're not able to do that with this keyboard. If you are a gamer, I think optical switches will highly benefit you in terms of performance because of the decreased actuation times and distance. And currently, no mechanical switch on the market is able to achieve the 1mm actuation distance that the optical switches can achieve right now. So what's your pick? Gateron mechanical switches or Gateron optical switches? I personally love using linear optical switches because it feels much smoother, especially when lubed, and it's because you don't have to deal with the extra friction of the metal contacts and the legs of the stem. But since I like trying out different switches, I would probably use Gaddon switches, or any switch for that matter, since I'm not limited in my choices for my main board, and then use Gaddon optical switches for a secondary keyboard for gaming. But that's just me. And by the way, Gaddon optical switches are up here, and Razer optical switches are up here, because they have the stupid stabilizing bar and the rattle. Meanwhile, the Gaddon optical switches go straight down, and all you hear is thock. Let me know what you guys would choose down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.